So I have decided after thinking about it for several days, maybe a couple of weeks, I'm going to replace my Thunderbird email client with Kmail. And the old Linux users are going, oh God. And me too. However, it stands to reason that Kmail has come a long ways since the bad old days of Kmail, just like KDE. KDE is amazing now. Back in the day, not so much, as well as Kmail. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to keep up with it. I'm going to let you know, compared to Thunderbird, which isn't bad, how it goes. This is what my Thunderbird looks like. I have four separate email server hosts, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to see how hard it is or how easy it is compared to Thunderbird to set those back up in Kmail. If you check out slant.co, Thunderbird versus Kmail, I'm not taking too much stock in upvotes, votes for either one, honestly. The, the main thing that really speaks loudly here is how many votes there are for Thunderbird versus Kmail. And that tells you that there's a lot of people using Thunderbird. There are a whole lot of people if you compare it to Kmail. And Kmail, and that's understandable because Kmail is kind of specific to KDE. And there's a lot of DEs out there that's not KDE. That's part of the reason that I want to do this, to see how far along it's come, see if it's better than it used to be. It's got to be better than it used to be, right? So that's part of this experiment. Uh, it, right here, specs, exchange support. I don't use any exchange servers, so no big deal. The main three, pop, IMAP, multi-count. That's kind of all I need. Default environment, KDE Plasma. Has a release schedule. Oh, I guess that's good. Uh, kind of the uh, the pros for K for uh, Kmail is proper KDE integration, which is part of my reasoning. Has a system tray icon again, a big part of my reasoning. And yeah, uh, cons buggy as of twenty twenty. We're almost in twenty twenty two. It's got to be better. Buggy related to Katie Pym, poor UX, you know, kind of feel that way with Thunderbird too. It's just really outdated. And they, even as a con and, and Thunderbird is outdated interface. Uh, no Google support. I kind of don't care. <laughs> this one's funny. Con, Akinati. Yeah, Akinati needs a lot of RAM. Yeah, and Akinati used to be the part of the big reason why K mail sucked back in the day because of Akinati. So let's see. Let's see. So if I go to install K mail, it's not the right syntax. Don't need uh, encryption, KDE, PIM add-ons. Okay, let's see what we get. Ekinati search, Ekinati import wizard. Akinati itself. Hit no. Do a PAMAC info Akinati. Asynchronous API to access all kind of PIM data. It is required. I don't think you can have Kmail without it. So let's do a quick search. 
and see if I have anything Akinati already on here. Lib Akinati is already on here. And Akinati Contacts is already on here. So it's weird that I would have that and not have Akinati itself. That's strange. Okay, so before I do this, why am I doing this? Obviously the integration. But Thunderbird doesn't have any way to to give you a an alert that you have email unless you install something like bird tray that I have here. This bird tray doesn't work in Wayland at all. Doesn't even show up. So if you do a quick search and you find githubmemory.com It'll say, at this moment, Bird Tray works fine with Wayland Desktop, which also ha runs an embedded X server. It doesn't work in so-called full Wayland support without an X server. The main limitation is that Wayland provides no standard way to figure out which other top-level windows are being shown. I said windows. This, <laughs> this in turn means Bird Tray cannot interact with them. This impacts the following functionality. Bird Tray cannot detect whether Thunderbird is even running, thus cannot start or restart it. Bird Tray cannot hide and show Thunderbird. Doesn't work. Just plain doesn't work. So that's part of it. And on my, some of my searching around earlier, I figured out that it seems that Thunderbird doesn't have uh, any way to notify in any other desktop environment either including windows according to what i was looking at so i want something that'll tell me i have email without this strange little plug-in bird tray that doesn't work in wayland because we are wayland's close it's almost there i'm i switch to it pretty regularly and it actually runs some games better in Wayland. And then I have to switch back just to have this bird tray icon. So I'm going to switch. See what happens. Let's do this. No sudo. No sudo with Pamac. Pamac. Install. Kmail. I'm going to go ahead and do the kitty Pam add-ons. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any importing because when the first time I set up Thunderbird I didn't do any imports I had to set it up manually so I want to compare that experience in Kmail so I'm not gonna do any imports. Oh, so that's installed. Let's go ahead and remove Thunderbird, just like that. We'll hit no just because I also want to remove bird tray. And just like that, Thunderbird is gone. So this video is two days later. And I have Kmail running, as you can see here. And as you can see here, it's all blank and empty. Not because I have failed, but because it's so easy to add servers and email addresses that I removed it all so I could show you how easy it was to do, or is to do. Kmail really has come a long ways. With a minor caveat. So, minor caveat number one. I think it's minor. You have to have KDE Wallet installed, working, and running. Or you'll get a message like this when you try to access Google Mail, Gmail, maybe others too. And having KDE Wallet active also made the wizard installer work like a charm. Like a, like a charm. Before I had KDE Wallet, I could get my other servers to give me email and send email, but I had to set it all up manually. But with KDE Wallet, easy peasy, just absolutely just as easy as Thunderbird. 
I'm happy. Minor caveat number two is I have third party uh, I have third party access enabled. If you go to your Google account uh, account settings security and you'll come to this page right here and scroll down a little bit manage third party access and just Google account sign in prompts turn that on now quick little tip on K wallet K wallet manager come in here I set it in the configure wallet to enable the KDE wallet subsystem I don't have it set to close ever and here's the key if you want to turn this on so it's easy to use Kmail or any other KDE specific uh, services but you don't ever want K wallet to bother you because it irritates you to the very core of your being come in here click change password and then leave it blank and hit OK it will say that's a very bad password you're right it is yes use it anyway don't close don't push this close button because it will close the manager or the wallet just close that window the wallet is still running in the background just real quick I wanted to go back to the slant that was the uh, Thunderbird versus Kmail on under con no Google support you can't pass Google authentication for the majority of KDE PIM applications you can now that was probably true when this was written because evidently this was written in a, around the spring of 2020 and we're at least a year and a half later absolutely Google support hands down easy okay back in our setup wizard you can use full name you can name it whatever you want to name it that's what it shows up on your on your side maybe in the sender you have to get your email address right according to what it is on on gmail and you have to get your password right Once you do that, it finds the IMAP account. Don't use POP3. Nobody uses POP3 anymore. So just use an IMAP account. Hit add account. This should come up. Ekinati is what's running in the background in your KDE Plasma Kmail session. Once you active, once you say yes on your account, allow. You can close this tab now. Now you have Google Mail running in Kmail, super easy, super quick. I'm going to uncheck both of these because I don't need that. Hit finish, and I am good to go. There's all my things. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the email address that you already know about. I'm going to add account. My account will be ltl at lowtechlinux.com. Since I'm going to type it again, I'm just going to click A, Control A, and Control C, Tab, Control V. Nice and easy. Put my password in there. Hit Next. Looking up configuration, Mozilla database. That's interesting. Mozilla database. Yeah, that's interesting. Hit next. Generic IMAP. Hit next. You want to change the server locations. IMAP. And SMTP. Hit next. Setting up account. 100% complete. Hit finish. I'm going to uh, can I right click that account settings? Yeah, I'm gonna change the name of that. Let's 
So I'm going to go into settings, KML, sending, modify, advanced. There we go. So KML. My first impressions was, oh my God, what have I done? But once I figured out that it needs KDE Wallet to work, it's fine and dandy. And to be honest with you, you know, this looks a little dated. And you can go into configurations and appearance. You can change quite a bit and make it look better. Change the layout. Uh, change the message list. Message tags, colors, fonts, general. You can do quite a bit in here to adjust it to way to make it look better. There's also plugins. Some of these are active, some are not. Ooh. Auto correction. I need that. Okay. Restart is necessary. I need auto correction. But a real quick main takeaway is this looks dated, but so does Thunderbird. But overall, I'd say my experience has been very good, and I am happily running K Mail. So if you like this video, give K Mail a try. Let me know what you think about it especially if you're on a KDE Plasma desktop environment. But this is good. This is good. Thanks for watching.